When out carp fishing, I love to be at the water's edge at daybreak. It fills me with anticipation and excitement about the adventure to come. There's something magical about wandering the banks of an old estate lake, looking for signs, looking for fish, looking for chances, looking for hope, hope that maybe today will be the day that the big fish picks up the bait. I fish very simple tactics on these waters with very simple tackle because I'm a very simple angler. My rod is over half a century old, originally built by Farlows of London for salmon fishing. It came into my possession about 20 years ago and I've put it to good use ever since. I combine that with a centre pin reel, a peacock quill and a handful of sweet corn. After baiting some margin spots, I sat back and waited until the carp arrived. Initially, they seemed to be out in the middle of the lake, sunning themselves and occasionally dipping down to feed. Every so often, a small group would break away and come along the margin and take a few grains of corn. This is what I'd been waiting for. I snuck into position and swung a bait out, barely two foot off the bank. I'd disposed of the float because the carp seemed to be spooking off the line standing up in the water. So all I had on the line was a swan shot, a size 12 hook and two grains of corn. I knew sooner or later one would slip up. Suddenly a group came along, two commons and a mirror. The mirror looked to be the biggest in the bunch, but it was a close run thing with the biggest of the commons. And it was the common that made it to the hook bait first. Right under my feet, in crystal clear water, I saw him take the bait. I struck, and he was on. Battle engaged, like so many times before, for my old Farlow's rod. Engraved down near the handle, it says hold fast. Apparently, that's in reference to the ferrule between the sections on the rod. But I've always thought that that's quite good advice for fishing. Just hold fast. And hold fast we did, and after a tremendous battle, the estate lake had given up one of its gems, the golden common.
I carefully removed the hook. And then held my prize aloft. Another challenge met and vanquished by my 52-year-old rod. <laughs>